fourth year student at the University of Toronto. And today I'm going to be showing you how to create a volcanic eruption right in front of your eyes. By using household items like dish soap, ketchup, and baking soda, we will recreate the epic reactions you've heard about before using a very simple chemical reaction with acids and bases. These are the materials you will need for this experiment. Start by making your volcano with the cup in the center. You can use whatever materials you would like to decorate your volcano, and the experiment will work no matter how complicated or simple it is. In a cup, mix ketchup, dish soap, and water. Pour it into the plastic cup that you're using for your volcano. Now, add baking soda to your volcano cup and watch the eruption occur. Ketchup is made with vinegar and tomatoes, which reacts with the baking soda to make carbon dioxide gas. This reaction occurs because the tomato and vinegar of ketchup are acidic, while the baking soda is basic. An acid is a substance that releases hydrogen ions in a solution. Many sour or tangy liquids like lemon juice are acidic. A base, on the other hand, is a substance that releases hydroxide ions and can be seen as sort of the opposite of an acid. An example of a basic substance would be a bar of soap. When ketchup and baking soda come into contact with each other, the reaction is as follows. Sodium bicarbonate, which is the baking soda, and acetic acid, which is inside the vinegar inside ketchup, reacts to form carbon dioxide, water, and sodium acetate. The solid baking soda was placed in liquid vinegar of the ketchup, producing carbon dioxide gas, which is evident because of the formation of bubbles in the foaming mixture. Eventually, all of the solid baking soda had dissolved and reacting, producing a new liquid solution. If you've ever made a cake or baked a loaf of bread that wasn't using yeast, you've already done a similar experiment with the bubbles that come from an acid-base reaction. Most cakes and quick breads rise because of the bubbles in their batter. Those bubbles, like the ones in the volcano you just made, are created by a chemical reaction of an acid and a base. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to try this experiment at home and tag Pueblo Science in your experimental results. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok for more content. And comment down below what you would like us to cover next.